Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nube, and I'm here to update you on the latest regarding Zimbabwean news, Zimbabwean political news. So what is going to happen is that uh, tomorrow, that is the 13th of December, uh, Wednesday, there is uh, a project that has been set in motion by Zimbabweans who are based in the United Kingdom and they are continuing uh, protest against what they uh, accuse the Zimbabwean government, especially the ruling ZANU PF, of perpetuating against opposing voices, dissenting voices, and opposition activists and political leaders. You'll know that there is uh, a number of complaints that are coming through, that there is a number, that there is a harassment of opposition politicians there have been abductions of especially triple c uh, elected officials and activists there are also complaints that the august 23 and 24 elections were held in an atmosphere that didn't allow for free Ness and fairness so there are also complaints by the mainstream opposition that is triple c that the elections were stolen by the Zimbabwean Electoral Commission, the Forever Associates of Zimbabwe, and President Emerson Nangakwa's ZANU PF. So, Triple C has been complaining that there is illegitimacy in the government of Zimbabwe, and therefore they've been organizing protests all over the uh, the world where there are Zimbabweans. So, what is going to happen tomorrow is that uh, Zimbabweans, opposition supporters, and activists will be marching around uh will be marching in the united kingdom where they are expected to deliver a petition uh to the south african high commission uh, in that country so the petition is said to be delivered by a delegation of six people we include chief uh felix Ndiweni. Uh, most of you know him as the chief of Mshamba baloi uh, in matebeleland north uh, his name you know him as Chief Nsanjaya Mangwe Ndiweni, who was deposed of that position by the ruling party that is ZANU-PF-led government. So he will be accompanied by Chuk Maplanka, who is the ZAPU Europe chairperson, uh, John Burke, who is the founder of the Zimbabwe Human Rights Organization. Uh, there will also be a motel and puzzle from Triple C, Michael from Raw and Tafatwa. They will deliver that petition to the South African High Commission. So after that, they will march on in the demonstration to number 10 Downing Street. You know it as the headquarters of the British uh, Prime Minister. So they will be there at 2 o'clock. Then they will enter through the gates to Downing Street, then around the corner to the FCDO. This petition, uh, in short, challenges the position of the UK government, which they say seems to be ignoring the human rights records and anti-democratic activities of the successive ZANU-PF regimes. Uh, they want also to associate and normalize relations with non-human rights, uh, they say, I mean, they accuse the British government of wanting to associate and normalize relations with non-human rights violators. Uh, and they say this is an insult to the victims of a genocidal and autocratic ZANU-PF regime. They also state that the electoral irregularities that they say are blatant are an indication to just how decrepit and abominable the Zimbabwean Electoral Commission is uh, they say the people of Zimbabwe deserve a constitutionally compliant administration that seeks peace, transparency, and adherence to the domestic and international law. So they will be delivering a petition uh, in the form also uh, of a demonstration. They have a flyer that uh, they have already printed, which is available for you to see. So this is the latest that we thought we needed to update you on. You will remember also that there have been several recalls of the opposition uh triple c elected officials by a man who claims to be the secretary general of that particular party uh, the name men by the name Segezo chabang and uh, a number of uh, by elections have been set in place the first round of by elections emanating from the first recalls 
were held last weekend and the majority of seats that were contested then were won by zanu pf after the recalled members of triple c were barred by the court from contesting on the basis that they were trying to contest fraudulently representing a party uh, for which they ceased to be members so all these things are what the zimbabwean opposition activists and officials in the uk will be demonstrating against will continue to update you we hope also to have coverage of that demonstration so uh, this is the latest that we had don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it but also continue to share your comments with us share your views with us and also conduct us uh, in the event that you have anything that you need us to cover but it has to be uh, international uh, headlines scraping it cannot just be anything but for as long as it is politics for as long as it is human rights uh, or xenophobic violence we are always willing to cover and it doesn't have to be only about zimbabwe but the whole of africa thank you very much